Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about American Fiction and this movie came out in 2023 and it stars Jeffrey Wright and it's nominated for Best Picture and I thought this movie was fine. <laughs> I'm not saying I completely hated this movie, there were things that I liked, for instance, every once in a while, once every 10 minutes I would have a laugh and there was some good acting in it, Jeffrey Wright was good in it and... The guy from uh, Waves that was in it as well. He did a great job. And those two uh, both got nominated for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor. And uh, I did like uh, the scenes when uh, the characters were talking about the book. Like uh, the changing of the, the title of the book scene was kind of funny. That was the standout scene for me. And overall, I did like the second half better than the first half. The first half I find to be really dull, whereas the second half... Things started to, like, move, and there was, like, a plot going on, and there was a story that I could get somewhat invested in. But, unfortunately, it's really dragged down by that first half, and I found it to be very repetitive. Like, I didn't feel as though there was a progression of scenes for a lot of the movie. And it didn't even start to feel repetitive until, like, 15 minutes in, <laughs> which was not a good sign. And that's another problem I have with the movie is the pacing is that it was uh, like 15 minutes went by in the film's runtime and it felt like half an hour had gone by. And then like by the time we got to an hour into the movie, I felt like I had watched the movie for like two hours. And yeah, not a fast paced movie at all. And it does not justify the two-hour runtime. <laughs> and I don't uh, like the drama element of the film. I just uh, find it to uh, fall very flat. Because I don't really like any of the characters. Not that they're super unlikable. It's just I don't care about anything. It's just a film that I was either passively watching or just bored. Or maybe laughing with the movie whenever I would find something funny. And the greatest strength of this movie, entertainment-wise, uh, would be the comedy. I did find it to be funny. But without the comedy, I would like basically nothing about this movie as far as entertainment goes. And there were lots of scenes of nothing happening. And I did not like the music. I don't really remember wh what the music was, but I just remember not liking it. It was bland, basic, generic, and nothing memorable. That's all I can say about it. That's how I, I remember feeling about the music, and I couldn't even hum you one note. It was just that forgettable for me. And all in all, the movie it just uh, had nothing to offer me. Nothing was really memorable, except for a couple things. And it was just a film that was very middle of the road, very paint-by-numbers, average crowd-pleasing film that gave me nothing and comparing it to, to the holdovers as far as best picture nominees go i don't know which one i like better like maybe i was more entertained by this one possibly the holdovers i was but at the very least this movie was shorter than the holdovers that movie is two and a half hours long for no reason and this movie is just two hours long but neither film justifies the runtime. So I don't know uh, which one I would rather watch. <laughs> I'm hoping neither of them uh, wins Best Picture. Same thing goes with uh, Maestro. And yeah, I haven't seen Poor Things yet or The Zone of Interest. Uh, but the rest of the Best Picture nominees I have seen. And I've seen 8 out of 10 this year. As in... The number of movies I've seen. That's not my rating on every single movie that I've seen. <laughs> that is nominated for Best Picture. But going back to American Fiction, it's fine. It's inoffensive, safe, and that's all I can really say about it. So if you want to check it out, then check it out. If you don't want to, then you're not missing much. So with all that being said, I'm going to give American Fiction a 5 out of 10.
Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below Youth of American Fiction and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Robocop. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.